What's up guys, my name is Curtis and welcome to 5 Minute Finance, where I take personal finance topics and explain them to you in 5 minutes or less. Within the Financial Independence Retire Early or FIRE movement, there are a few different variations. One of which I already discussed on this channel, and that's Coast Fire. You save a lot of money early on in your life, you stop investing altogether, and simply let your accounts grow until you reach retirement age. But most people in the FIRE movement don't want to wait until age 60 to 65 to start withdrawing from their portfolio. The whole idea behind the FIRE movement is that you retire early, you live off your investments, and do with your time what you truly enjoy. That's where more traditional forms of FIRE come in, and two common ones are Lean FIRE as well as Fat FIRE. The main difference between these two forms of FIRE just comes down to how much money you're able to spend once you leave the workforce earlier than the average person. Before I discuss fat fire versus lean fire, I want to give you guys just a brief refresher on what it means to be financially independent. The most important number that you need to consider when assessing whether or not you've reached FI is your total expenses. The general rule of thumb is, once you have 25 times your annual expenses saved and invested, you're considered financially independent. This is due to the popular 4% rule, which states that you can withdraw 4% of your portfolio balance every single year adjusting for inflation each year, and you would never run out of money. Now onto the topic of this video. Let's first start by talking about lean fire. Now, after coasting fire, which I briefly mentioned, this is often the next milestone that people reach in their financial independence journey. Lean fire is when you have reached financial independence by saving up 25 times your annual expenses. However, your expenses are far lower than the average household. Most often, the people who target lean fire as their goal live a much more minimalist lifestyle than the average person and they often live in more rural areas where the cost of living is lower. The less luxuries you have and the better you're able to control lifestyle creep, the lower your expenses are going to be, simply by nature, thus allowing you to retire with a significantly lower nest egg than a lot of other people might be able to. Fat fire, on the other hand, is when you reach financial independence, again targeting the 25 times your annual expenses. However, your expenses are far more than the average person. People who target fat fire are often used to higher luxuries and more amenities than your average person, and they simply aren't willing to give those up just to retire early. It's also very common for fat fire participants to live in much more expensive, urbanized areas. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with living this way, in my opinion. It just means you're going to need a larger nest egg in order to comfortably be financially independent. There are obviously pros and cons to both fat fire as well as lean fire. With lean fire, the total amount you need saved up is much smaller than other forms of fire, meaning it's not only more achievable for most people, it's also much quicker to obtain. The downside is fairly obvious. You won't be able to do as much in retirement, such as luxury vacations all the time or buy super nice things because you simply don't have the money saved up to cover those expenses. With fat fire, the total amount of money needed is a lot larger than other forms of fire. This often means you need a pretty high income coupled with a very high savings rate early on in your career. It takes a lot longer to achieve than lean fire or even traditional fire, and for average income earners, fat fire might simply be out of the realm of possibility. However, the added ability to buy and do more with fat fire is what drives a lot of people to achieve it. Fat fire also provides a lot more financial security if there's some sort of economic downturn, simply because you have a lot more saved up. If you guys are curious what the average portfolio balance is for these different forms of financial independence, here's what I found. On the lower end of the spectrum, we have lean fire, and that's typically achieved by people who have around $250,000 to $1 million in their investment portfolios. Again, following the 4% rule, that would translate to annual expenses of anywhere between $10,000 and $40,000. I know I would find it pretty difficult to live off $10,000. However, living off $40,000 would be completely doable. You would just have to cut back on a few things in order to have that privilege of the ability to retire early. On the other end of the spectrum, we have fat fire, and that's usually achieved by people who have two and a half million dollars or more in their investment portfolios. This would translate into about $100,000 or more to live off of every year for the rest of your life. That's definitely enough money to live a very comfortable, fairly luxurious life. Anything between that roughly one million to two and a half million where the lean fire and fat fire marks are is right around what you'd call traditional fire. Not too much, not too little. I hope this video helped to give you guys just a brief overview of the differences between lean fire, which is again that very minimalist type lifestyle, and fat fire, the people who want to retire early but still have a lot of luxuries. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would really help out me and my channel if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and want to see more personal finance videos in the future, 
click on this globe right here to subscribe.